We're just waiting for the arrival of the the two athletes. And here comes the exciting big thrower, Mihail Latisev, and followed in by well the equally exciting Arnaud Aregba. Yeah, this promises to be a really good one. We've seen some exciting judo from both these athletes today. Let's see where this one goes. A little faint. And then looking to go over on the right side. The faint came from the left. Well, there's a third attack. Some are a bit more defensive. Well, and it's quite clear, but uh, what's a bit more well defensive, I won't say, but oh, it's so open. This is this is yeah. too open. You don't want this in the <laughs> final, you know. But like, no, a bit more technically. Maybe you can make your chance to win like seventy percent. So you don't want to come in that situation. Oh, this is uh, unbelievable. Ponce Onage. Hooking in the leg. Anticipation of having to defend against that forward throw. And now he <laughs> thinks about it himself. <laughs> A bit same. <laughs> Two direct. Seen him avoiding going over earlier. But it will be. Of a contest. Mm -hmm. Yes. To, t to take it. Well, he's gone over. Yep. Do you think they will give Ippon? Yes. Yeah. I think. I think it was enough. He did enough. Of course, it was also a Regba who tried to do some sumigeshi, but before that, uh, it was Latisev already. Oichigari. And it's so all too late. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, that was the only thing he could do. We can see it here from this side, this angle. This is the angle. The Oichigari straight on his back. So, yeah, that, that <laughs> twisted, man. Uh, Wasari on the board and then Ippon afterwards. So it's Latisa from Moldova.